Yeah. Yeah. It's cold for a spray. Probably cold. They have some Sanskrit, really? Yeah, it's real elaborate. Hey, Thomas. Hey. What's new? Pictures of the big wedding stuff. Where are you, sir? I don't know where you're going. Oh, you know. I know you're going. That's good. <laughs> what is it? You see where my wife is? <laughs>
long as we shall both live. And to place your welfare above all else. I shall love you, guard you, and protect you with all my strength. I shall pray for our lives to become as entwined that neither know the one apart from the other. And I declare myself open for growth and change in any manner that will profit the two of us as we pursue our journey under God. I need to respond by saying, I receive this gift of your brain as a sign of our covenant and an expression of our love, both now and for the fullness of our lives together. I need to place a ring upon Thomas's hand. I need to repeat this vow. The ring I give you is also my sign of promise to care for you and to love you as long as each of us shall live, I shall love you, honor you, and seek to help you with all my strength. I too pray for our lives to become as one. And I too declare myself open for growth and change in any manner profit each of us on our journey under God. Thomas, as you receive the ring, repeat this, I receive your ring as a sign of our covenant and an expression of our love. But now, for the fullness of our lives together, Thomas and Heidi, because your families have given their blessings to your union, because you have spoken your vows truly to each other, I declare upon my authority as a Presbyterian minister that you are now husband and wife, united in the sight of God and in the presence of this company. Let us join together in a blessing and prayer. God of Abraham and of Sarah, Jacob and of Rachel, of Joseph and of Mary, of Thomas and of Heidi, we commend them now to your safekeeping as they journey through life as a new couple who have taken the first step of their pilgrimage together. Guard them, we pray, with the disaffection and disappointments that would diminish their love. We do not ask that they be exempt from the trials and tribulations of life, as we all must face them. Grant that your spirit may be upon them to lead them without harm. Help them to grow daily in their understanding of life and its value. To be flexible with each other and their families. Growing may be easy and exciting. To send to laugh about small problems and to pray about the greater ones. Enable them to negotiate their difficulties to God order that the difficulties not divide them. By the grace of your creation that they bring ch children into the world, give each of them a deep joy of parenthood. Love and care within their home may issue in an even greater wholeness in their lives. Above all, O oh God, visit them with an abiding sense of your holy presence. They may become witnesses of your divine grace in the manner of all their living, find pleasure not only in each other, but also in the world of all their goings and comings. Christ our Savior. Amen. May seal your